This is the Emergency Medical Minute. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. All right. So good evening, everybody. So um, I was going to do a medical minute on a certain kind of headache disorder that maybe we see, but don't always recognize. So, um, you know, a lot of times we see general headaches. We don't get that excited about migraines, run of the mill headaches. And then we see thunderclap headaches, you know, sudden onset, really intense headaches. And the main thing we think about are, you know, subarachnoid hemorrhage, aneurysms. A lot of times if we see a um, thunderclap headache, we'll work it up. We'll do a CT, maybe a CTA, maybe an LP. And sometimes we don't find anything still. And there's an entity that um, can also cause thunderclap headache that sometimes um, we don't find with that workup necessarily. And it's called RCVS. The letter is RCVS, which stands for Reversible Cerebral Vasoconstriction Syndrome. And it's one of these nice um, diseases that the name tells you a lot about it. Um, so it's a condition where you get this, um, you know, kind of constriction or spasming of the blood vessels in your brain. And then it's usually reversible. And you can think that if all of a sudden the blood vessels in your brain constricted a lot, you'd have a pretty intense, horrible headache. Um, it can sometimes be seen on CTA or MRA, but sometimes by the time the person gets their test, the imaging is normal. Um, so sometimes people actually get formal angiograms that can sometimes show it. What causes it is a little unknown. There's certain medications, um, certain kinds of medications that can cause uh, constriction of the blood vessels can do it. Sometimes it's seen in postpartum conditions. Sometimes it can be caused by intense physical activity. Sometimes sexual activity or orgasm can do it. Those are sometimes headaches that we think about being aneurysms, but they're not always. Um, the most common presentation is actually in people in their 40s, and it's more common in women than males. So like a female in her 40s is the most common uh, person we see it in. Uh, most of the times it's just, you know, really bad headache that then goes away. But sometimes people can get bleeding, sometimes strokes, sometimes seizures from it. And sometimes the, uh, you know, the... Rev the spasming is reversible, but sometimes the bleeding and the seizures can sometimes cause pretty bad cerebral edema and sometimes pretty bad neurologic effects that are not reversible. Treatment is interesting in that there really is not a good treatment. Uh, you can stop the medications that cause it if there's a medication. It's things like calcium channel blockers, sometimes oral magnesium have been tried, but they're not um, very proven and sometimes they're you know really not effective so there's not really a great treatment besides controlling the headache and monitoring the patient to make sure they don't get any of those side effects so sometimes like i said we'll see this on ct angiogram something we're not expecting if somebody has especially kind of recurrent visits for thunderclap headaches where the workup is not showing anything it should be something that we think about and kind of at least consider so any questions all right thanks everybody hello emm listeners we are dedicated to providing you with high-quality educational content free of charge and without ads. As a nonprofit organization, we rely solely on donations. So if you enjoy our show and are able to make a one-time or recurring donation to help cover our operational costs, any amount is helpful in making this show possible. Click the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you.